Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday morning, July 11th. I'm James Spann. Had a big MCS Mesoscale convective system blowing through overnight. The question is, can more showers form later today? What about the weekend? What about the tropics? Always something to talk about here, so let's get in there and take a look out the window initially. This uh, is from the SkyCan Network. These were captured early this morning at about uh, 5 o'clock. There's a look at downtown Tuscaloosa, where rain has been falling for a few hours. There's a look at downtown Jasper. The rain has ended there. And down south, there's the Alabama Gulf Coast. They're going to see a pretty good uh, batch of rain today. But after today, the weather looks pretty typical for summer, for tomorrow, the weekend, and much of next week. Uh, unless any unexpected tropical mischief comes along, uh, pretty decent weather if you're beachbound. There's the deal, the big picture. The primary westerlies are up north. However, that is a fairly high amplitude pattern, and a trough is forming over eastern Canada, and that's nosing down into the eastern U.S., the heat ridge off to the west, but the trough will aid in pushing a surface boundary. We don't call them cold fronts in July, but a surface boundary through here later today. And that should bring drier air tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. And the big question is, will we see any more rain after this? Uh, this was the radar at 5.07 this morning. Huge, huge downpours from Columbus, Mississippi to Montgomery. And a lot of lightning, nothing severe, but we got some flash flood warnings in there. And uh, the rain is ending in Birmingham, and the rain has ended north of Birmingham. And let me tell you, that has really worked the air over. And I'm not so sure we see a lot of rain later today. Maybe, but we'll talk about that. SPC maintains those low-end 5% severe weather possibilities across the state today. But uh, clearly, the stabilizing effect of the morning MCS, I just not so sure we have any issues with strong or severe storms. Now, this is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Tuesday morning of next week, and this is showing the bigger rains over southeast Alabama, down around Geneva and Dothan, with lighter amounts to the north and west. And as we often talk about, it's hard to draw these maps in summer with the scattered nature of the storms every day. And with Chantal kind of off the board, It'll be a pretty typical summer pattern probably uh, late this weekend and much of next week. Speaking of Chantal, the system is no more, an open wave, and that's moving to the northwest. Uh, regeneration only at 20%, uh, according to the Circle guys at NHC. Uh, it might bring some heavy rain to parts of South Florida this weekend, but uh, I'd say the odds of regeneration are looking fairly low at this point. Not out of the question, but fairly low. Check modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. This is what's happening up at about 18,000 feet, where the pressure is 500 millibars. Upper high over Amarillo, Texas, where it's hot. And you can see the uh, high amplitude pattern there, the, the troughs on either side of that. Now, down below that, there's a nice surface high near Chicago. Nice dry air pushing a boundary south. And that's the question of the day. Will more storms develop this afternoon? Well, all of a sudden, the high res NAM says yes. You know, all the other runs were saying no, but now it's saying yes. This is the uh, map at 7 o'clock this evening. And by golly, it's got showers and storms over the northern half of the state. So... Again, it's a reminder of how hard it is forecasting summer convection around here, trying to be specific. Um, so, you know, out of respect to this, we'll mention some chance of developing showers and storms again uh, this afternoon or this evening. But as the front drops south, the air should dry out. I know there's a big concert at Oak Mountain the Amphitheater tonight. Uh, I guess based on this, you better hang on to some chance of a shower, but Hopefully, there won't be a big problem. Certainly nothing like the downpours we had last night with big flooding problems. But the good news, tomorrow the air should be much, much drier. Uh, now, understand, we're not saying there's no chance of rain. In fact, you can see a few isolated showers here. This is valid at uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, but they should be widely spaced and mainly south of Interstate 59. Uh, the day should feature a pretty decent amount of sunshine. Humidity values a tad lower, the high around 90. And this is Saturday, valid at 1 o'clock, pretty much the same deal. Could there be a shower? Yes, but they should be very widely spaced and hard to find. The high should be around 90 with a pretty decent amount of sun. This is Sunday, 
Upper high is over New Mexico and Colorado. An upper low is near St. Louis. And down below that, we're in a moist air mass, and I think uh, that's when you kind of go in and go with climatology, which means the forecast will say partly sunny with scattered mostly afternoon and evening showers and storms. Uh, The GFS shows a high of 86. And we're going to roll with that next week. Uh, This is Monday. It's going to be very hard to differentiate weather from day to day on a synoptic uh, deal uh, scale. That's Tuesday, Wednesday. And again, I know it shows the showers a bit fewer in number there, but really every day, just typical summer stuff. Here's a week from today, Thursday the 11th. Upper high remains out west uh, between Salt Lake City and Denver. Uh, Down below that, uh, partly sunny, a few spots getting a shower or storm. We just don't see any reason to go, go from what you'd normally expect in July. Temperature's probably a tad below average because of the good deep soil moisture we have. Highs, upper 80s, or maybe low 90s. Uh, we'll check the end of the forecast. This is July the 26th. And most of the model runs have looked like this. The heat ridge out west, a general trough over the east, and that would be same deal, uh, you know, partly sunny, a few scattered showers and storms about no sign of any really excessive super duper hot weather, which is good. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by four o'clock today. If you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at four, five, six and ten. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. 